Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. A few of you pointed out that I neglected to mention anything about series batteries in my updates yesterday. Uh, you are correct. There's a lot to say about series batteries, so I'm making a whole video just for that. Uh, this is important now because since we can charge batteries while they are discharging at a higher rate than they discharge, that means using batteries in series becomes a practical way to extend the life of a circuit. However, there are some limitations. So let's go over the basics first. Uh, the 80% efficiency rule is still true. So uh, this battery can put out 10 into this battery uh, and we'll call them watts now because we have an indicator of rust watt minutes as our capacity. So this can put out 10 watts into this battery, but it's only going to get 80% of that. So that means of the 10 that this battery loses, this battery is only going to receive eight rust watt minutes. Now, if you watch the previous videos, you're probably already aware that with that loss, you're going to have an issue with your loads. So if you are taking 10 units, the full 10 units out of this battery for something like say a turret, then you have to put 12 units in just to maintain its current charge level and you have to put more than 12 in if you want to charge the battery well you can't put more than 12 in from just one battery here so let's hook this up and uh, before i put a load on there i'll just demonstrate that this is still true i'll hook these two batteries together there we go and you're going to see that in a one minute period of time what's going to happen is 10 is going to leave here and go to here so this will go to 28 from 20. Uh, this is not going to drop down to 10 because this battery is also going to lose 10 and put it into here. So this is going to drop slower, but it's still dropping. And ultimately, after one minute, this will be at 10. Eight of those will move to here, so this will be 18 because 10 of this has moved to here. And this will be down, or, or sorry, will be up to 28. So getting closer now. Just about coming up on a minute. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. You can see we're to 26. This is still hanging right around 18 because we're still putting power into here. Now we're up to 27, just coming up on a minute now. And then after one minute, we got 28 here, 18 here, and down to 10 here. And that scenario will continue until this battery goes dead, and then this battery goes dead, and then all the charges in here. Now the problem, of course, if I plug this into a load and I'm taking 10 out of here, this battery is also going to go dead. You can see the charge time is decreasing because of the reason I just previously mentioned. So Thumper, you ask, how in the world do I get around this problem? I've got this 100 units of power coming in here. Why wouldn't this stay alive? Well, since we're only able to move eight into here and then six of those into here or eight from this battery into here it's gonna keep dying slower but it'll keep dying same scenario we used to have so if for some reason you are stuck on just using small batteries there is a way around that <laughs> you can use the root combiner um, if you take this battery and plug it into a turret, so now it is under full load, and remember I'm doing this all under full load, I, I, I realize you'll probably all comment that if this was using one unit of power, then this would work. You're correct. Because you can, as long as you're putting in 20% more than you're taking out, it will charge. Um, but most people want to run turrets and those take 10. So you're running a turret off this battery, it's going to drain it dead. We need to put more than 12 units in here, which we can do by taking two small batteries, combining them into 20, and now we can charge this battery. 129 runtime, 130 runtime. You see it climbing up there? Because we're putting in more than 20% above what we're taking out. Problem is, as always, the root combiner is a fickle little mistress, and uh, <laughs> it actually double dips on batteries that are connected to it. So even if you only connect a load of 10 to this root combiner, it still takes 10 out of each of these. In this case, we are using 20, so we actually get the full value of these two batteries. And you're gonna need to put in at least 12 or more into these. Well, I got this test generator here, so I'm just gonna split this 100 into 250s. And there you go. 
Now we've extended the runtime of our circuit from the original 15 minutes that this can run to an additional 15 minutes that these batteries are gonna put into this. So now it's 30 and you can keep this scenario going. <laughs> so we can take and run these two batteries through a root combiner into this. Now it'll charge even on full load. Let's see if I can hook that up. And then if you wanna keep these batteries charged, you have to put in more than 12. So let's put two more in. Why not? This is great if you're on vanilla, working in a cave, something like that, where, you know, batteries are expensive. So small batteries may be the easiest thing to do here. But now, of course, we need enough power to put at least 12 or more into each of these. So you need 48 or more, so probably 50 or more of input power into these batteries to keep them charged. Uh, so that's possible. Get a couple uh, small generators down in your cave and you can you know, use one generator to charge these or you know, run it through some branches. Whatever floats your boat. That scenario will work, uh, will work also. Okay, one other way you could do this <laughs> is just get a bigger power source. So here we uh, are taking 10 units out for the turret. We need more than 12. Well, medium battery puts out 50. Ta-da, problem solved. Well, now this guy's draining. So it's gonna drain at its full 50. So you're gonna need to put in 10% or sorry, 20% more than 50 into here. Well, guess what? <laughs> Large battery puts out 100. Ta-da! <laughs> Not saying that this is efficient, I'm just saying that it works. So then we can take this generator, plug it in. Um, you're gonna need more than 100 coming into the large battery if you wanna keep it charged because uh, it's putting out 100, so you need to put in at least 120. So really what I need here is L root combiner. I take this 100 watts from this generator. Got a windmill here. Uh, it's got, what is that, 90? Good. There we go. Now we got 190. There we go. Good to go. <laughs> so it works. Again, not saying that this is the most efficient way to do this because, especially if you're on vanilla, just throwing around, you know, large and medium batteries isn't going to be cheap, but possible. Uh, if you do need a larger circuit, so let's say you want a circuit of 100, so you're going to run the 100 out of this battery and use it on this turret and you're gonna have 10 turrets hooked up or nine turrets or eight or whatever you've got downstream from this um, so that it's consuming 100, then you could do this same scenario I did here, but do it with large batteries. One large battery putting 100 out to your circuit of turrets, two more large batteries coming in means you get the four hours full load capacity of the first battery and then the four hours full load of the next two large batteries behind it. And then of course, you're gonna need 120 for each of the four, uh, sorry, two large batteries in, in this kind of scenario that you would have. So that means you need 240 of input power to keep the two large batteries uh, charged. Not really that hard to do if you got a couple uh, wind turbines, they put out plenty of juice. You get you know two or three of these hooked together through root combiners and you can uh, get that 240, not too hard to do. So there you go, um, what a mess. <laughs> it does work though. Just avoid, um, under full load, avoid this series example. If you wanna make this series example work, make sure you take into account the 20% loss every time you put another battery in series. So if you're running one light, this can work because the first one will have a load of one, which means you need two coming in and then it's gonna have an output of 10. So then this one is gonna need 12 coming in. Um, it'll work, but uh, just use caution on the math there. They do lose uh, power as they are charging. So I hope that uh, addresses some of those questions y'all had about using batteries in series. Good luck, and don't suck. Mm -hmm.